You who love the Lord, hate evil. Psalm, chapter 97, verse 10. You have good reason to hate evil, for only consider what harm it has already wrought you. Oh, what a world of mischief that sin has brought into your heart. Sin blinded you so that you could not see the beauty of the Savior. It made you deaf, so that you could not hear the Redeemer's tender invitations. Sin turned your feet into the way of death, and poured poison into the very fountain of your being. It tainted your heart, and made it deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Oh, what a creature you were, when evil had done its utmost with you, before divine grace intervened. You were, an heir of wrath even as others. You did follow a crowd to do evil. Such were all of us, but Paul reminds us, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. We have good reason, indeed, for hating evil when we look back and trace its deadly workings. Such mischief did evil do us, that our souls would have been lost had not omnipotent love interfered to redeem us. Even now it is an active enemy, ever watching to do us hurt, and to drag us to eternal punishment. Therefore, hate evil, O Christians, unless you desire trouble. If you would scatter your path with thorns, and plant nettles in your death pillow, then neglect to hate evil. But if you would live a happy life, and die a peaceful death, then walk in all the ways of holiness, hating evil, even unto the end. If you truly love your Saviour, and would honour him, then hate evil. We know of no cure for the love of evil in a Christian, like abundant communion with the Lord Jesus. Dwell in him, and it is impossible for you to be at peace with sin. Order my footsteps by thy word, and make my heart sincere. Let sin have no dominion, Lord but keep my conscience clear. Amen.